Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I have got a whole bunch here because I was like a crazy person about putting um, fragrance on like all day, every day. So I've got quite a few. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first fragrance that I wore last week is one of my favorites. I adore this fragrance and as soon as it starts to get really cold like it is now, it's like getting below freezing at night here now and so it's really, really cold. Um, but I love Replica by the Fireplace. This is such a beautiful, sweet, nutty, woody fragrance. It does have just a touch of smokiness to it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, it is quite sweet too for being like a fragrance called by the fireplace, sounding like it's going to be like smoky wood. It is quite, quite sweet, which is what I really, really love about it. So by the fireplace is cloves, pink pepper, orange blossom, chestnut, guyac wood, juniper, vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmere. In. It's the vanilla, I guess, that's so sweet. But I adore this. I've been wearing this fragrance for years. This is the second bottle that I am on now and I adore it. So that is Replica by the Fireplace. The second one that I wore is one that I just hauled last week. So I am back to talk about how this did for me. Um, this is Karl Lagerfeld and I think it's just, yeah, it's just Karl Lagerfeld uh, Eau de Parfum like for her um, and this is beautiful this is a really inexpensive find this is a oh my gosh this is just a really pretty clean floral is what it is it's like a white t-shirt type fragrance super easy breezy nothing groundbreaking here at all it's not unique it's not you know it's not like run out and buy it at all unless you're looking for another like really easy to reach for something that is just going to be a staple in your fragrance wardrobe type of fragrance because that's exactly what this is this is like an easy white t-shirt type easy breezy like just a no-brainer type fragrance really um, so Karl Lagerfeld is peach lemon magnolia rose frangipani musk woody notes and amber and what is wonderful about this one is even though it's a clean floral that is like an easy breezy fragrance, this thing lasts absolutely forever. This got me through an entire work day. I could still smell it when I got home. I could smell it all day long. Like every time I moved, I got a whiff of this. Um, it's just a really, really nice fragrance and it's really, really inexpensive, and I just love it. I love the bottle. Um, the cap is kind of cheap feeling, but the bottle is nice and heavy and weighted, and I love how it's got, um, in the K, it's got a little silhouette of Karl Lagerfeld, which I thought was just such a cute little touch. So anyways, that is Karl Lagerfeld. <clears throat> Next, I kind of got on an amber kick last week. I was really craving a lot of amber, so I pulled out my Laura Mercier Amber Passion. Um, this one I wore to bed, and I'm glad that I wore it to bed because for me this one just doesn't hang around very long. Um, this one, I got maybe a couple hours out of it and then it just wasn't there anymore. So I sprayed this on like in the evening, probably at about five. By the time I went to bed that night, like I couldn't even smell it anymore. So yeah, um, I will keep playing with this one and I will wait until it gets even a little bit colder to see if maybe it lasts a little bit longer in maybe a little bit colder weather, but it's pretty darn cold here and this, this it didn't hang around very well for me. So. Still a really, really beautiful amber fragrance. It's a nice, light amber fragrance. There's nothing too heavy here. So Amber Passion is Labdanum, Vanilla, Geranium, Amber, Tonka Bean, Patchouli, Sandalwood, Musk, and Cedar. And like I say, this is a night, nice, light, bright, airy amber. It's not heavy. It's not... Um, 
This isn't like an old-fashioned smelling amber. Nothing like that. Really, really beautiful. So anyways, that is Amber Passion from Laura Mercier. And then next, I wore some of my Sucre Belle fragrances that I just got. Uh, the first one that I wore, these two, I was so excited to wear. The first one I wore was Oddling, and this is a gorgeous, oh my gosh, you guys, this is such a beautiful grown-up coconut fragrance. Ugh, this is like coconut cream pie, not like coconut suntan lotion. Um, this is a super rich gourmand coconut fragrance. It's so gorgeous. Lasted absolutely forever. I did wear this one to work. It lasted all day. Um, it was, it's just a stunner. And these, I thought that these were oils. Um, and this one might be an oil, but this one is definitely the liquid perfume. So, and if this is the liquid perfume and it lasted absolutely forever on me, that just is so exciting. Because that's the thing, a lot of times when I get oils, they will last a really long time and then I'm always nervous as to whether the spray form is going to last as well. And this is the spray form, it was just in rollerball form, or it's just in a rollerball. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you're looking for a beautiful, like gourmand, coconut cream pie, coconut fragrance, this is it. So this is Oddling. And this is Vanilla Absolute Coconut Pulp CO2 and Butter CO2. It's a stunner, you guys. This is one of my favorite things that I wore all week. It was just like I was in heaven all day because I could smell it all day. I lower, layered it over um, the Kais, um, the Kais perfumes, their lotion, the Coco Ala Vaniglia. I layered this over that lotion and it was just to die for. So anyways, that is Oddling from Superbell. And then I also wore Strangeling and this is a gorgeous, oh my goodness, this is a beautiful boozy vanilla fragrance. And this one I think, yeah, this one is an oil. Oh my gosh. This one is an oil. Holy cow, you guys, this is such a beautiful, like this is the booziest vanilla fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. So uh, Strangeling is Vanilla Absolute, Dragon's Blood Resins, Copal, Rosewood, Cognac Essential Oil, and White Chocolate. And that Cognac Essential Oil is the most prominent note along with the vanilla and the white chocolate. It's just this beautiful, sweet, rich, boozy vanilla fragrance, and this lasted all day long. It got me through easily 10 hours. I could smell it all day. It's just such a joy. This fragrance was such a joy to wear. So anyways, if you're looking for just a beautiful, boozy vanilla fragrance, look no further. This is Strangeling, and it is gorgeous. And then next, I wore a couple of the smaller ones. Um, I wore Sky Puppy, and this one is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the way this smells, but this one, I don't know if I was anosmic to it or if it just didn't last very long on me. I'm not sure. I very may well have been anosmic to it because it was like I put it on and I put a ton on, um, and I couldn't really smell it after about five minutes. So. I don't know if it's just the notes that just didn't um, that just didn't hang around for me, or if I was just kind of anosmic to it. But this is a stunning fragrance. Uh, Sky Puppy is Indian sandalwood, vanilla bean, and spiced resins. Oh my gosh, and it's gorgeous. The vanilla is so yummy in this. Oh my gosh, and the sandalwood and spices. It's just stunning, but my skin ate this one up like no other, but that is Sky Puppy. And then um, the last Super Bell one that I wore was Blood Drunk, and I know you guys, uh, if you watched my Super Bell video, you would know that I was super excited about trying this one on my skin, and this, oh my gosh, is so beautiful. This ended up, um, this one really, really transforms over the wear time. So it goes on smelling completely different to what you'll get when it dries down. Um, this dried down very, very fruity, uh, like juicy, 
yummy on my skin. It was just gorgeous. So blood drunk is pomegranate, apple, black cherry, dark rum, dragon's blood, cherry tobacco, and blood afford. And this, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so, so good. And like I say, you can really, it's really, really unique and distinct when you first put it on, but then it dries down to just this beautiful, like, dark red fruit type fragrance. It was so gorgeous. It did really good with my skin chemistry and it lasted absolutely forever. I put this on at night and I could still smell it the next morning when I woke up on my skin and on my clothing. So really beautiful. That one is called Blood Drunk. And then next I wore my beloved Van Cleef & Arpels Orchid Avon Knee. I adore this fragrance, you guys. This is such a beautiful, long-lasting vanilla fragrance. And when I say long-lasting, like this stuff lasts forever on me. Um, I've had some people say that they that this just didn't last for them at all, like that it was um, that after like an hour they couldn't smell it anymore. But thankfully, thankfully, because usually nothing works on my skin, but thankfully this one will last all day on me. Like I can wear this to work and it'll get me through an, an entire work day. Um, I adore this fragrance. So Orchid Avene is vanilla, dark chocolate, vanilla orchid, tonka bean, almond, mandarin orange, violet, musk, lychee, cedar, and Bulgarian rose. And you definitely get the beautiful almond and the chocolate it is very slightly powdery, but not like, it's definitely not overly powdery. It's just a stunning, like, chocolatey vanilla fragrance. I adore this. It's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. So that is Van Cleef & Arpels Orchid Vanille, and I try to be really sparing with this because I don't know... I don't know how much longer this is going to be available or if it even is still available, so I try to be really sparing with that guy. Okay, next I wore Like This from Etat Libre d'Orange, and this is my, by far, hands down, my favorite fragrance from them. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice has been really scratchy today. Oh my gosh, I love this fragrance, you guys. This is so beautiful. And of all of the fragrance, and I've tried every single, well, I've tried just about every single fragrance from this house because I've been through discovery kits like years ago. Um, I've owned full bottles of a handful of them. Um, this is the only one that I have left that I kept because this one actually lasts on my skin. Um, this one, especially in the cold weather, um, lasts forever. This will get me through a whole work day. I do have to overspray and you can see like I haven't had this bottle for too terribly long and I already have put a good dent in it because I do have to really really overspray with this one. But oh my gosh this is one of my favorite fragrances of, of all time. One of my this would be definitely in my top 10 for life. So like this is yellow tangerine, pumpkin, carrot seed, ginger, immortelle flower, Moroccan neroli, grass rose, vetiver, heliotrope, and musk. And it's just gorgeous you guys. It's just gorgeous. Pumpkin and ginger. It's like literally one of my favorite fragrances ever. It smells like a beautiful home. I love it so much. So anyways, that is like this from Etat Libre d'Orange. <clears throat> okay, next we have one that I have been waiting for cooler weather to test this one to see if it did any better for me. Um, this is Erin Amber Musk and this is a stunning fragrance. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. To me, this just smells classy and expensive. The only problem in it is expensive, and it's way too expensive for how this thing performs. Even in the cold weather, this lasts max two hours on me, if, if I'm lucky. Uh, usually after about an hour, I can't even smell anything on me at all anymore. You wouldn't even know I was wearing perfume. Um, which to me is just 
really unacceptable for a bottle of perfume that costs as much as these things do. Um, I adore how this smells. I think it is fantastic. It's like such a beautiful, light, musky amber fragrance, but it's just the performance of these fragrances are just abysmal. Um, but I will keep this and I will keep wearing it in the cooler months and I will reapply it every two hours if I have to, if I'm home, because I really, really enjoy the fragrance. So Amber Musk is Ambrox, Coconut Water, Rose Centifolia Absolute, Benzoin, and Musk. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful and light and musky and amber. Oh, I love it so much. So that is Erin Amber Musk. And then last but not least, I wore Dior Addict. And this is the 2014 formulation. Um, I do wear my 2002 formulation very, really very seldomly. I'm trying to, I've got about, I don't know, probably, I've probably got about 15 or 20 mil left in there and I try not to wear it. So if I want to wear Addict, but I really don't want to bust into my 2002 formulation, I bust out this 2014. Um, this is really beautiful. It smells very, very similar to the 2002, but this just doesn't last very long. I get about four to six hours out of this one, whereas the original, the 2002, will get me through an entire day. So, but I, I adore Addict. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's funny because I see a lot of people say that this is like one of their like date night fragrances or something that they only wear on special occasions. And for me, Addict is like an anytime, like I'll wear it any time of day, I don't care. Like I don't need a special occasion for this one. Oh gosh, I love it though. Uh, so Addict is Mandarin Leaf, Orange Blossom, Jasmine Sombach, and Bourbon Vanilla. And again, this is a 2014 formulation. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's cozy, it's deep and rich smelling. It's just a yummy fragrance. So that is Dior Addict 2014 formulation. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I apologize, my voice is kind of scratchy. I don't know what's going on. Um, I hope it didn't get too annoying throughout the entire video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.